Okay, I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to add different themes to different pages within your WordPress site. So on the front of my site I have a sales page. Well, I would have if I had the energy to actually write the sales content. And on other pages in my site I want to have something different, a different theme for each different page. So that's really easy to do. First of all, I need to have themes um, already uploaded in appearance themes to choose from. And then I need to go to plugins and install the plugin called Headspace 2 by John Godley. Then just go to settings. And what we want to do then is go to page modules. And over here, you have the simple and this is what you'll see when you first install the plugin and you'll have the advanced features. So we want to drag from the disabled features that you can use with Headspace 2 this one called page specific theme. I'm going to put it in advanced but you could put it in simple if you want. I'm just going to put it in advanced because it's not something that I use all the time. So. I don't want to actually have it in my face all the time. Things like, um, you know, meta robots and uh, the more text and um, keywords, etc. I would have them in the simple because I would use them on a post by post or page by page basis. Things that I would only use every now and again, I put in the advanced. So now that we've got that set up, we just need to go to pages over here and obviously you need to have a page already created so on my privacy policy if we have a look at that right now we can see that it's using the theme from the sales page on the front of my site it's using the same background there so it's no different. So we're going to change that to something different and I'm just going to edit and scroll down to Headspace 2 and over here we see the link that says advanced so I'm just going to click on that and I can choose from any of the themes that I have installed already so I'm going to choose the flex theme blue, click on update and view the page and now you see that my privacy policy is on a different theme yet the front of my site is still using the sales page theme. So we might do another one, um, we might change that privacy policy to um, something different. So let's choose another theme. Might have it as the old classic, WordPress classic. Uh, click on update. View the page. And now it's the same, pa same information, same site, just different theme. And if we look over here to the sales page on the same site, we see we're using this. So let's um, do another page and on my contact form if we just have a quick look at that I've put the 2010 theme on that already but let's go back and I'll show you how to do that. So all I did was I just clicked on edit, scroll down to headspace, click on advanced and choose a theme. I'd already chosen the 2010 theme but um, we might choose, I don't know, blogger theme and click on update and view the page and now it's on the blogger theme the privacy policy is on the classic and the sales page is on the sales page theme and it's just all on the one WordPress site just different pages for different themes and that's how easy it is